Hi everyone, welcome back to Anita's Joint, hashtag extended joint, where every day is payday, baby. You're tuned into another live esoteric football commentary with your girl, Anita Flying High. I didn't even change the, 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 the title, hold on. Y'all thinking we're watching something else. Hold on, let me see, do it like this, yeah. Fucking A, hold on. Yeah, so <laughs> Ferris and Brooks here. All right, that's PS. Oh, damn, that was quick. Okay, <laughs> Brooks is lined up. Not too bad. They're playing a five back though, so. Eh. But Palace number six, a player that uh, we got to see with France. Good little player, and she got the number six jersey. You know, I love my number six players. And, um, who else? Who else? Grace here, the captain for Paris. Uh, ha, ha. And this match, I was like, man, I was, I was like running around trying to find a stream. I'm really happy <laughs> I got one. Let's go. Uh, it's in France. In France. It's in French. So I'm going to get the audio kind of going for y'all already. I should have changed the title. Let me uh, reply to this. All right. You see, this is a really good lineup. I love it. Four, three, three. Bachman had a great goal, um, and she and uh, he brings in um, Kira, and in the mix, uh, he um, lets uh, Jean get a rest. And also, he brings back the Alma back into the lineup, which is good um, because she she scored, I think, uh, the important goal. I think it was against Arsenal. Yeah, she scored the important header. So I'm really happy she's back in the lineup. And I'm guessing uh, the Swedish center back, Amanda, she's hurt. And of course, Dudek, guessing there, she's hurt too. Um, while they're doing all their pregame shenanigans and... Let me just light my candles and all my other stuff. I didn't even get to I'll probably let y'all know that we live on Twitch in a minute. I mean, live on Twitter. I'll get, let everyone know we're li I'm live. Really happy to be able to present this commentary to you all. Mm -hmm. And of course, we've been doing the yellow candle now for the full matches. It's for the solar plexus chakra. Let's go. Our confidence chakra. Our, well, our solar plexus chakra does a lot, a lot more of uh, confidence, but also self-expression, uh, your creativity, uh, um, you know, continuing to be a unique spirit. That's all we have to be down here is unique individuals to expand and to uplift the collective consciousness. And, you know, we're getting ourselves out of this sunken space that they have put us in so we can ascend into the realms into our heavens practically because we got to bring the heaven down here but we have to ascend mentally to our heavens aka bring what we see in our eye down here into the into the 3d to materialize and that's you know that's yellow candle will help uh us continue to embody that energy uh because it's everlasting you know we're here on earth right now temporarily and we need to use everything like it's our bitch Let's go. Kick off. Paris versus Box. Nice. Yo, yeah, yeah. Let's go. And, you know, it's pretty cool. Like, Paris is usually on TV. Not gonna lie. That's why I was like, nah, there has to be a stream. Because I was like, if this, this is gonna be on TV, I was like, there has to be a stream. Like... Excuse me. Let me go ahead and um uh, 
share this real quick. Uh, uh. Oh. Mm. Okay. Buddy, come on, where the hashtag at? Jeez. Uh S C G B P S G I'm gonna get back into uh I gotta see who uh mind y'all who scored last match. I think I think the last match we did see um Diani, Martin, Bachman. Uh, who else? Who else? Okay. Okay, I shared it. I'll turn it up a little bit so y'all can hear the crowd a little bit more. And if you do speak French, well, there you go. All right? Um, okay. Okay. I'm going to put my candle over here. I got my I got some tea today. Get over there. Play it. I think this is a strength, uh, more of a, a strengthened team, Paris. I feel like uh, just bringing the Alma back into the lineup in the back line just kind of helps with defensively because she hasn't been playing. It was usually her. I'm guessing she picked up a knock on this. That's what I'm assuming. Um, but she did come on in the halftime in the last match too. I mean, not halftime, but she did come on off the sub. I don't know, maybe she was, I think maybe just rest. But it's good to see her back. I think it, for me, Baltimore's corner as the goalkeeper for, I don't know, it looks like they're playing in Rocks, so away from home again. Um, good crowd too. I like their stadium. It's really nice. Ooh. Let's go. Ooh, big save. Almost there. Good save from the goalkeeper. I think the goalkeeper is Ch Chavez. If that's what I what I saw. Mm, good, good press because it, it was a tight pass. For uh, here we go. She's gonna have a lot to do. Ah, uh, her, her teammate really didn't. Okay, they still have it. They got. She's got to get up, or she probably was fouled. To be honest. That was already a shaky pass. It was a shaky pass. It was tough for uh, Ming Wing to, to make because she was at, a, at a, a different angle. And then you saw Grace hesitate too. So it's like that hesitation allowed 
the Brock's defender to go ahead and, you know, I'm going to take, go ahead and go for it too, you know. It's good IQ to see, um, well, you got to go for it, it's a, but it's a good IQ as an attacker to see, yeah, I Oh, yeah. Okay, it was the foul on Kira. Let's see again. See if she gets the ball. Because not only the wing, she kind of like... Re referee was there. It was a heavy collision. And this is like almost goal opportunity. Jackie puts it in. Then Diani takes a shot. I think that was Diama, though. That was in the locks to, to try to sniff at it. Or Bachman. Let's see. No, that was Martins. Oh, but a better save. Martins was there. Okay. Julie, therefore, okay. Oh yeah, because I don't have the numbers. So her is number eleven. Palace number six. I know that. Because they don't. I don't. I'm trying to think. They should have their names in the jersey, but um, the goalkeeper doesn't. Unless it's on the bottom of her. Jersey. Okay. There we go. Yanis? Okay. Okay. Woo! Uh, so yeah, you know, last time we saw Paris, we found out a lot of news um, about the French team. And uh, like I said, as a collective, hmm, ain't no telling how many more big players are going to tell us they're not playing in the World Cup. Uh, so... Yeah, honestly, I feel like I feel like anything's possible at the current moment. You know, without because to me that just means like Marie was gonna come back. I feel like that was that was it. Like Marie must have been Marie was going to play the World Cup. Our Marie was just gonna come back healthy. How about that? And the fact that she's like, no, I'm not gonna play the World Cup means she would have. And that's just in my opinion. And so now, you know, Paris are, are going to, you know, I feel like, not Paris, uh, France, it's, it's an even tougher test. And I know they have, um, we know they have attackers like Millard, um, like Sorry, there's we're starting to see a little bit more faces in the attack, but damn, the missing Diani, you still gonna have Baltimore. See, I'm not too sure. And I saw another, uh, I think it was a Bayern Munich player, I'm not too sure about because I had saw a tweet, but I, of course, I wasn't able to translate it. Uh, I, I guess I must have been busy or something, I just wasn't able, but she may have been, she may have been in agreement of her as well not coming, and so, um, but as we know, you know, if. France can't afford to lose more of their top players um, because there's, we still don't know. For me, just watching France, I still don't know what type of the, what attackers they might bring consistently that have been playing. You know, so it's going to be a little mix up as well. I do think they'll still be strong, but I'm, I mean, I'm still thinking because she's not calling Les Omer up. She's not, you know, so that's a striker gone. No Marie, that's a striker gone. No Diani, that's a striker gone. So you have Sar, Millard. I'm trying to think of who else she's kind of been bringing in. Um, I don't even know. Like, that's the thing. I'm struggling to find players that like, I'm aware of that she's been calling up for France. And she, I think Beto, some other, but not consistent enough minutes to be like, oh, shit. But this is when, like, you know, we get to see other stars shine, you know. This is what happens, um, you know, so we can get to know some more of these places. Especially, um, it's also when I watch Spain and Australia, I get to know some more of the Spanish ladies. Uh, and, and we actually get to see some different faces, uh, which is really good to see as well. Even though, 
they're these national teams are under just you know they're under it's not these federations are under um you know the ladies aren't happy how about that they're just not happy uh so uh i'm gonna be the the world cup's gonna be in uh mid july or in the beginning of march april may june but we still got at least three more months right four months <laughs> but um and that still the national teams are going to be participating in you know little friendlies here and there so we'll see what other news comes through and i think yeah because i know in, probably in april is the next the april, april is going to be the next international break i believe for the ladies because they have champions league this month you know paris Ooh. oh my goodness they wing. I don't know if her hand, her flailing hand caught her, but Paris under a lot of tech right here. You know what I'm saying? Rock's playing real well. But it's referee. Um, the striker, number nine, looks like. Ah, uh, come on. She kind of flopped. But she might have got like a like an elbow in the chest, maybe, but it kind of, she kind of exaggerated it. But let's get another good replay. It... it Oh, we didn't even see it there. Here we go. Mm, I mean, it doesn't help that her hands are all extended and stuff. She may have, uh, what do you call it, embellished it? There you go. But we don't want, you know, she may have embellished it. Even the referee huffing her up. <laughs> uh, yeah, but anyways, yeah, no flopping. Come on, y'all doing well. Y'all are playing well already. 12 minutes, y'all have had a lot, of, a lot of good strikes. So don't, 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 we don't want to see none of that because then it starts to change our demeanor about your team and then you as a player and we don't want oh good lords oh shit you see lords uh -huh. see canada had ashley lawrence playing as a striker it was crazy i don't know i think she's a fullback i think uh i mean unless she shit they had her playing attacker but i don't know man so it's kind of like uh, how arsenal play mccabe uh mccabe like um Playing her as a striker. And I think she does play strike. Maybe more of a out wide position for uh, Republic Ireland. But yeah, those are two similar players uh, that play similar positions. And we still don't have... Yeah, tumble. She took a tumble. Uh, we still uh, don't have uh, Kawashiwi back either for PSG. Um, and even... I haven't watched Lyon, but I don't even know if they have uh, Bacha back either. So looking at France, I'm like damn, like they should be back before the World Cup. But those are two fullbacks that you know you don't really want hurt if you're France. You know. On target. All right, Baltimore's gonna pick it up. She. Ooh, I thought she should. I thought she was gonna let it. Uh, let the cross in earlier, but. Hmm. It does eventually fall to Martins. Ooh. Goalkeeper luckily got a touch because Diani was right there. Offsides too. All right. Yeah, there she is. 
I almost went for goal. Oh, yeah, yeah, I would say, yeah, the goalkeeper got a glove to it. Stay on here. Go take a shot. Oh, pass the Baltimore. Nice, nice. Ooh, you see what? Because she had a, like, oh, that was such a tough little, like, we saw her. She was like, damn, I got to get in position. She saw her trying to curl it right here. Like, this is really good. Um, She stayed on side. In a way, like, I feel like she just needed a little, a little better position. She was almost there. Like, and I think she had a little bit more time to get her body right. And then, you know, I think that would have been in. But those are lovely uh, pictures to see when you see in the attack. Because uh, you know something might happen right there, like a goal. Um, hopefully tomorrow, uh, well, I know City play tomorrow, and hopefully, because there is the final, the final, the, there is the final to the, uh, I think it's the Continental Cup, or Arsenal are going to take on Chelsea once again, um, hopefully that doesn't interfere, because I'm not, I'm watching City over Arsenal, Chelsea every day, every day, I'll, I'll watch the replay, that's, but hopefully, they don't interfere so we can watch them live. You know what I'm saying? But we'll see. I actually have I haven't actually looked, so I'll probably look at half time for you. Because if it's interfering with City, uh, Arsenal, Chelsea, nah. Uh, those aren't my teams. <clears throat> we got a corner here. Uh too much in the ear. Also, Tigas are playing too. Fuck. Oh, I know Club America is going to be playing Puchica, and I actually want to see that match <laughs> as well. In the. Let me see something. I'll do what I have to. I'll do that. Mmm. Let's see, hold on. Oh yeah, it was uh, TFC versus Dijon. Bachman, Diani, Ongo. And I thought Martins had scored. Well, I put down Diani twice, but I thought Martins had scored the second goal. But it, I think it was Diani. She had the penalty. She may have scored the fourth goal. But we had an own goal in the last match as well. But Backman opened up the scoring.
um, yeah, PSG are playing Wolfsburg, I believe, in the um, Champions League. And it looks like Wol they said uh, Wolfsburg are on top of the um, table in the German League. And um, with Bayern Munich, and uh, I think it said Frankfurt. I think that's what I had saw. Um, so that's going to be tough. I feel like those two legs are going to be tough. Because I know Arsenal have, yeah, Arsenal have Bayern Munich. Chelsea, Chelsea. Chelsea have Lyon. And Barcelona have Roma. So, yeah, I think, uh, <laughs> yeah, I think, ooh, Baltimore, luckily she overran it. Um, yeah, I think it should be, I think it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. Which is what you want when, when you're entering that, st that stage in the Champions League, right? You want, you want an unpredictability. You don't want to be able to predict who out of the two teams, uh, could win. Like Roma and Barca. It's going to be interesting. I actually want to see how Roma is going to play because, because we know Barcelona have been so dominant in these last couple of years. Um, but they're out without their best player, but still they, they got a lot of good players. And also, uh, Roma for me, if they've never played Barca, therefore I feel like there's no, there should be no fear. Um, yeah, you know, you are playing the team that won, that just been to back to back Champions League final. But this is your first time in this stage. So you have to do your best to create as much good energy. Hey, YW1212. I like the numbers you got there. 1212. Um, thank you for following, fam. Shout out to you. Um, <clears throat> they have to be able to, you know, create good energy. And, and, and if you... Of all the teams, I mean, I th they, it's it's fabulous to think about. It. Any team they would have gotten would have been a great, would have been a test for Roma. Um, mm, but we'll see how which matches. I, th I think it's gonna take both legs for both teams. That's what I would like. I don't want teams to get molly walked the first match, but then again, you know, that means they have to play good, or they have to play well for ninety minutes. And I don't know, would you rather have the first leg at home or the second leg? For me, hmm, I'd rather have the first leg at home, to be honest. Uh, I don't want to have to, even though I feel like it does, I feel like it just depends on your perspective. But for me, I'd rather have the first match at home because it's the introduction. You know, they say sometimes it's how you start and not how you end, but hey. I would rather have my the first leg at, at my home, so you have to come to my stadium first and hear the crowd. She was on side. Uh, it was she was close. Okay, maybe not. But uh, yeah, and I'm not too sure if Paris had the first leg at home. Hopefully they do, because I wouldn't want them to go to Germany because Germany is also the team, you know, that beat France in in the semifinal, right? And Pop is plays for Wolfsburg, and you know, so that's just like oh, I'm like I'm getting flashbacks. I'm getting flashbacks. Of her goals. So that's like, that's why I'm also like, ooh, Paris, bro. Y'all are really gonna have to, like, ah, it's gonna be a tough one. I just feel it's gonna, we're gonna be on the edge of our seats on that one. Um, but even though I haven't seen Wolfsburg play all year, so I don't even know what's going down over there, but they have really good players in Germany, so I mean, they must be doing something, you know what I'm saying? They must be out there, you know, doing their thing. So, <clears throat> And then I've pretty much watched Lyon and Chelsea. Well, I haven't really tuned into Chelsea as much, but watch, I watched a lot of more Lyon and Arsenal. And I haven't watched Barcelona at all. And here and there, Roma. But we could... Nah, fuck that. I'm not trying to say that. <laughs> I'm thinking, what, what, this is what's good. If we have, like, that's why I always ask, like, eventually France 
I need to have two team. I gotta France. I need not France. Yeah, we're well, just in general the this league, the French league. They're gonna need to have one more um, Champions League spot available because. So we can have a little bigger tournament. We shouldn't just have two French teams, uh, two Italian teams, especially when other like countries are able to have three, like England. Why is it that England can have three teams, and they have the same amount of they have the same amount of teams in their league? Both France and England have twelve teams, but. England are afforded one extra Champions League spot. And I know that was that's like a new thing, but okay, make it new for Paris. I mean, make it new for, for France. Make it new for Italy. Make it new for these other leagues. The reason I say that is so those third place teams, of course, you know, the fight for third, I mean, that's super dope to be able to be to play in Champions League. Um and so it gives that third team an opportunity to get the taste, right? To feel what it's like. Okay, I, we got to play Champions League. And, uh, you know, we may not win the league. We may not even get second. But that third place spot, it's more incentive. There's more incentive to continue, of course, to go out there and win. But it, there's a lot more incentive now for all the leagues. And I think that just benefits the ladies game in general. Um... We'll have a, a, an expanded uh, Champions League. I think it will come eventually. Because uh, that's only fair. That's only fair. You can't have... That's only fair. You can't have uh, three teams in England and two in other countries. That's just not fair to me. Uh, so... That has to change. Uh, and there's so many great things that ha will come out of it. And so... Um, but yes, in general, what you eventually kind of want is the final teams to be from all different geographical locations. You want one from Italy, one from France, one from Germany, one from uh, Spain. And then we'll see who's the best out of the best, right? But um, it's kind of how we have it right now. I think we just have uh, two French teams, the two French teams, two German teams, and then one English no, two English, two, yeah. And one Spanish and one Italian. Yeah, so we have two French, two English, two German, one Italian, and one Spanish. So, yeah, and I'm really happy we didn't get the ties like Lyon versus Paris. Thank gosh that didn't happen. Because uh, I, I would not, I would be upset. I wouldn't want to see that stuff. You just don't want to see the two teams that have to face each other in the league, unless it's in the final. You just don't want to have to see them play each other in the, uh, like, coming through because it's like, we already seen this before. You know what I mean? Like, we want the new teams to play teams we ain't seen before. So that's another thing. And I know sometimes the draws, what do they call it? Um, you know, we see them draw, but, you know, all that shit is, you know, my opinions on that. Everything can be manipulated, but um, I'm just really happy we didn't have we didn't see that. Cause I'm, I'm sorry, I I can already watch the I can already watch the league for that. You know, if I wanted to see Paris and Lyon play each other again, I can already watch the league. Then. So um, yeah. Okay, so it's kind of been uh, Morox has ha actually haven't had any haven't had that much offensive Paris are kind of still playing it's been more midfield I feel in 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 a way I mean this is like their first finally they're going they're getting to the attack because I've been talking for a good good minute and they really haven't done anything it's been mainly like in the midfield kind of possession they haven't really gone for goal or got the ball up to go for goal
Oh yeah, also, I was looking, I was like... It looks like Martin changed her number. Because she, I swear she was 22. And when I saw it said four, I just need to double check. But she was 22, so what's up with that? She's got some new energy on her back. You know, the numbers are very important. You know, the numbers that the players choose. I know sometimes it's more on positioning, but the numbers that the players choose, if it's not like a common number or if it's not like the number that they're playing in the position, very unique. Like, I choose my number six because that's my, that's the number I came into here with, you know, and I came with, with a lot of sixes in my, in my, uh, in my energy, so that's why I choose my number. He's playing grace in such a defensive position. You know what? I think I'm starting to think that <laughs> they've been pl planning grace to play center back all along. For the <laughs> it's like it's like now it's like it makes sense now that Renard is not going to come to the World Cup. It makes sense that they're going to train grace to play center back because Wendy's not going to be there. But she had been doing up even before the statement, but now it's making sense. Cause I'm like, it makes sense now. Now it's like, damn, it's like they already knew that this was gonna happen, you know. the World Cup, if Grace is playing center back, I'm done. I'm going to be like, yep. I'm going to be like, yep. We're going to be like, yep. 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 Like. <laughs> yeah, so Martins is wearing the number four shirt. And I thought, I thought how she we wore that, but maybe she wears the number five shirt. But let me go, let me just check real quick. Let me see. There she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, she, it looks like she wears a number seven shirt. Okay. Okay, she wears a number seven shirt, but Jackie's wearing that now. But, uh... Yeah, she's wearing the numbers. Is she hurt? Damn. Also, Merlene Maroni withdraws from France as well. So that's a fullback. She didn't really get. She she. she this year, usually brought her off the bench. She really didn't. She played a little bit at the World Cup, but she was she was in behind uh, Bacha and uh, Kawashui. Uh, but um, 
Yeah, she, uh, that's another player. Um, yeah, too much right there. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Damn. Mm. Yeah, it looks like Maroni and a Mamba. That's what I'm seeing. Yeah, because I think Mamba plays for our Munich, I believe. Yeah, yeah, that's what I had saw. So yeah, two more players have uh, said they're not going now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And with all this drama, I don't think that they would allow one of the French teams to actually win the the, the Champions League, or even now, um, a World Cup. <laughs> so, like I said, I'm still leaning towards the World Cup final being England and Germany, based of based upon we haven't really. Had any? Ha, we haven't had any like drama from those camps, <clears throat> and of course, I would like a new winner. You know, I, so Germany have already won it. Um, so England are in a way our favorites, even more favorites because they haven't won it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Romy, Rome, Rome, E, seven four. Shout out to you. Uh you said in the cockpit for. Oh, so you say in the Copa de France players and the starting month and the starting match must have one through eleven and others twelve through sixteen. So that's very interesting. I had no I had no idea about that. But in my opinion, it's stupid. But you know, who makes a rule like that? What kind of intellectual prop what, what who makes a rule like that? Like no, then you have to have a number in one through eleven. Who makes a rule like that? See, and you have to realize how stupid that is because it doesn't make sense. It doesn't matter what number they put on the back of their jersey. In my opinion, as long as they want that number, they should be able to play with that number. But you see how it's limited? You see how they even limit that? Like, that's kind of ridiculous. Like, you know, that's really ridiculous. Um, but hey, the shadow government does a lot of things that are ridiculous. So you just kind of like, okay, what, what's, what's new shadow government? What's new? But, um, yeah, <clears throat> like I said, Martins was 22 was still fine. She was still playing with that number five. That's cool. I mean, like I said, it, what's the difference from the Copa de, what's the difference between this match and a, a regular match, uh, in the league? It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's just uh, another limitation that they put on us. And if you don't think, if you think inside that box, well then, if you don't, you you get hated on. You know what I'm saying? I, and like I said, I'm gonna tell you to think outside the box. I'm gonna tell you to think for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Some people are like, well, neither does. It's not. It's not a big deal. But then again, why? Then why is it a rule? Make it make sense, but you can't. It's bluntness. It's lostness. It's lostness. It makes it makes no sense at all. Um. But yeah, but thank you for that insight. I had no idea that was a fucking rule. And it's the most stupidest rule I've ever heard of. Um, but I do appreciate you for sharing. But that's funny. <laughs> that is some funny shit. Um, yeah, but you know, 40 minutes, no goals. I think Martins came closest. Um, that's all we kind of have lately in these first 40 minutes. Um, also, I saw that Bayern Munich won a trophy this week or this past weekend as well. So I wonder who they had played in the final, but Bayern Munich won.
No, no one, not kind of near no one. Right there. We'll check out the stats at halftime as well. But yeah, this show, this I, I do enjoy that this match is on the TV channel. So they, sh I know they had a pregame to this, and so that's really good to see. You know, you know how they, you know how they showcase the ladies is very important. You know what I mean? Very important. Oh, I'm saying, yeah, how they showcase them, how they present them, you know. We have to still continue to identify the the leagues and the TV channels that are, that one are like, uh, I guess, partnered with the, the ladies game. You know, I saw a shot, you know, it, it, even in America, it's kind of crazy that they're not even using a lot of our sports channels. It's like we have so many sports channels in America, like, let me, for example, ESPN1, ESPN2. Fox Sports 1, Fox Sports 2. We have soccer channels. But it's funny. The NWSL, it doesn't even get premiered on any of that. It's now Twitch, now Paramount. But to think about it, why isn't, why isn't it like on the TV channels, like the sports channels, right? It's so crazy. And um, now it's on a CBS channel. It's like CBS, like that's, a, that's like a late night. CBS is not a channel for, it's not a sports channel in general. Being Sports 1 is a sports channel, so it makes sense why the ladies are here. But in America, like I always tell y'all, it's very greedy, very greedy. And you see it, uh, of course, through the ladies game. But like, the fact that they don't even, they're not even shown on TV nowadays. It's behind the scenes. And if we do go on TV, I think it is on CBS sometimes, but like, you have sports channels like why don't and that's what i have i have these all these sports channels but none of the none of the ladies play on these channels like i can watch fox sports one espn two espn one but no women's football comes on there professionally like you may get college but like but here i'm in france we're in france and we can watch france on on, on their sports channel i mean i'm sorry paris on their sports channel you know what i'm saying does that make sense it's it's so it's so weird it's so weird how they do that but i think it's just a greed thing so in america them greedy bastards well it looks like uh you may go into halftime zero zero Yeah, so she does have Grace playing. Oh, uh, he does have Grace playing in the back line. So in the midfield, it's Kira, Bachman, and um, Jackie. And then up top, Diani, Martins, and Baltimore. Wait, oh yeah, what I was saying about halftime, they, they, they're going to have like a little, a good halftime session for them because um, they had a pregame. One additional minute.
Well, I have time. Zero, zero. Interesting. Oh, wow. Shout out to everyone tuning in. Appreciate y'all. Uh, go get your tea. Or uh, what do y'all drink that's hot in France? Y'all drink tea too? Um, I don't make sense, right? But like, what's y'all thing? What do y'all like to drink that's hot? So when I go to France, I'll make sure to order that. Uh, yeah, I mean, of course, Che, I mean, we need more. Well, this is what Grace said. The only thing I know- oh wait, fuck, hold on. <laughs> well, I like their, um, yeah, I like their, um, I know Mercedes, thank you. Messi. So anyways, my French is not good either. So, so I'm like, I don't even know French. But yeah, so let me check out some halftime stuff. Also, I know they're gonna have a little halftime show after the commercials. But you know what's so funny? Like just prepping for just watching this match, right? I mean, just um when I had tuned in a little bit to the pregame, they are playing American music. It's like it'd be so weird. I'm like, y'all are in France. Why are y'all playing American music? They're playing We Will Rock You. And I was like, what? And I understand music is, um, in a way, neutral. It's uh, the sound of the universe. But sometimes it's like, how come they don't play their French artist during, like, like stuff like that? Like, why are, we, why are they playing We Will Rock You? Is there another similar music in France? That, and so, ah, sometimes I'm just like, you know, they're... I'm just like, I feel like America is just in everything. They just put their hand in everything, and it, it's frustrating, especially because I live in America. And when I tune into some French shit, you know, fuck, I'm going to be friends for like a whole 90 minutes, you know what I mean? And so it's like America, it's got their claws in everyone. But that's besides the point. We already know that. Uh, let me see. Um, uh, what was I going to look? Paris and the halftime statistics. That's right, yeah. Okay, line the stats. Let's see. What? These aren't the stats. They don't even have stats. We're looking at the commercials. What? Um, they don't even have stats right there. Uh, well, I guess I can see Manchester. Manchester. <coughs> To be honest, I haven't... Well, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> okay, so City play Tottenham tomorrow at 8. Let me see time. Let's see what time Chelsea and Arsenal play. Oh my gosh. And they play at 9, really? It doesn't help. So we could probably watch the end of the match, but that's it, really. And honestly, I think Arsenal just lost to Chelsea. 
And uh, what do they have to lose to? Arsenal faced Chelsea in something recently. It was a, just a cup match. If that's if that's if that's right. Um, let me see real quick. Hold on. Matches. Yeah, Arsenal struggling. I I mean they may give Arsenal a trophy. I'm I'm not I just don't see Arsenal beating um Bayern Munich with all their injuries, even though they have some players that I enjoy watching, they just haven't played the way I've expected them to play. You know? They like let me see. Hold on. Yeah, so Chelsea beat Arsenal in the um the FA the Vitality Cup. So I'm thinking they will give but Arsenal really have to Arsenal need to make sure they show up for this one. I think they'll let Arsenal win against Chelsea at the uh, in this next cup, the Continental Cup, because you know Arsenal going through injuries, yada yada yada. They'll give that one to Arsenal because Chelsea beat them. That's just how I see it as, because you have to sacrifice and able to get a lot of things, as you know. This is this is how it's playing out. Okay, so this is that's just what I'm thinking. Arsenal should beat Chelsea tomorrow. That's just what I'm thinking because they had to lose to them in another competition because we're tired of chelsea winning kind of everything and that's just as as a collective unless you're a chelsea supporter you're like oh chelsea chelsea but chelsea doesn't even look like the best team no more they're out without frank kirby they're not playing Peniel harder and, and erickson they're leaving so chelsea even though they signed some pissiet and they signed um you know some french and some some swedish talent um they're not still their best and even though they have lauren james been shining they're not their best just yet. And even, uh, you know, what do you know? Brighton? 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 Yeah. I feel Arsenal still has a team that's good enough, like, based upon the players that I've seen. If Kim Little's there, Kat Lee, of course, Caitlin Ford, Sam Kerr, uh, McCabe, and the Pitt, Blackstein, yes, they still have a good team. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, Arsenal, get, it there, get your shit together. Like, I know you're out, Miedema. I know you're out with me. But damn, you still got a good team, Arsenal. Like, come on. Like, and then again, I'm not, I don't really fuck with Chelsea like that. So it's like, anytime Chelsea trying to play, the only time I'm rooting for Chelsea at the moment is against Lyon. That's the only thing because, I'm sorry, we don't want to see Lyon win a Champions League again. That's just, I mean, unless you're a Lyon supporter, uh, of course. But for me, I'm like, uh, I wouldn't mind. I just, it doesn't hurt me to see Chelsea beat Lyon. And it doesn't hurt me to see Lyon beat Chelsea. But we just don't want Lyon to win another Champions League. That's just a collective. That's just that's just common sense. Okay, that's it. It is what it is. They they're an eight time, nine time champion. Like, come on now. But they have to play like they have to play like when we watch the game. It can't be like, you know, like what the fuck. But this is just reality. And if, if you don't if you don't see that, you know, that my phone, that my phone. Anyways, uh, but yeah, 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 yeah. So I thought they were gonna have a halftime show. Uh, I guess okay, they're, they're, we're getting a lot of commercials. I thought they would have had. I thought they would have come back already. Maybe after this one. No, not yet. Okay. Well. Um. Yeah. So that's just the reality of it. Um. So United are on top of the table right now, but I don't even know. They're only participating. I feel. United may win this tape. United were supposed to um, make the Champions League last year, but they fumbled the bag, right? And so I think this year, adding a Nikita Paris, United could win this league because Chelsea is right below them. Unless City, I mean, unless, unless, unless City be like, hold on, they can, hold on, hold on. You know what I'm saying? Unless City can figure out how to... I'm not too sure if they play United. I, I would guess they play United eventually. But uh, let me see. Let me see. When do they play United? I think, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So City play United on the 21st. So that could be the game City either match United or um, a draw. They could If they draw to United, that's it. If they lose, that's it. But if they beat them, United need to fumble along the way. So City pretty much has to be perfect because they play Arsenal. I mean, they play Arsenal. I mean, Chelsea, then Arsenal, and then West Ham, Reading, and then, like I said, they have to play 
Arsenal and, and Chelsea back to back. So hopefully they don't drop points, but mm, I just don't see them giving City this title. I see it united, and especially behind them is, is Chelsea. I'm sorry, we don't want to see Chelsea, Chelsea win again. Well, like I said, they've already won the league, what, three times in a row? In reality, United need to stay firm and win this title. So, I mean, it's going to be difficult, but I mean, fuck it, you know. I don't mind United winning. It's a new, it's a new team, but they, you know, it's a new team. I'm okay with that. As long as it's not Chelsea. <laughs> as long as it's not Chelsea. Uh, we're, I'm okay with United winning. It's fine. I like a lot of their players that they have. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Um, yeah, but besides that, it looks like it could see United, Chelsea, City in the Champions League next year. And Arsenal could win the Continental Cup. And, you know, and we'll see. I don't know. Arsenal are the only English team to have won uh champions league I, I just don't see them getting past um Bayern Munich, but i mean fuck I've seen crazy stuff happen okay here's a little halftime show let's see it's very interesting too who's i don't i i know this is not a former i don't know she's a former footballer um uh, i don't think so i think she's just a commentista on the sideline and him too like who is this guy Let me get my tea. This was early in the get. Yeah, this is early in the match. <laughs> you see how it's been all down the left side of Paris and not the right side on Ashley's Lawrence's side. They're they're attacking the weaker side, which makes sense, right? Because Ashley Lawrence is a beast. To have a full moon in Virgo, okay. Yeah, like that wasn't really all right. The ladies are coming out, I'm gonna get warmed up. Hopefully, they bring on Frazier. She's a and and also we have another. I'm Emmeline, I think she's Danish. Is that what I had saw? We have some young players on the bench, Frazier and, and Ameline. So I could see him bringing on those two players, I'm trying to figure out who else he could bring on. But it's it hasn't really been the most potent Paris team I you know I usually love. Uh, so they they gotta get together. <laughs> All right, y'all, the second half gonna kick off. Let's go. Sur un petit contre, voilà, et puis la magie, la magie 
not watch that. Alright, a new player here on for Paris. Oh, it's Jean for Jackie. Oh, that, she just got new hair, dude. That's why. Okay, okay. Nice. Okay, so Jean's coming in for Jackie. Holy shit. <laughs> All right, y'all. Second half. My can my candle better not have gone out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, thank y'all for turning to the second half. Oh. All right. The candle's still lit. <clears throat> Hopefully, of course, we should we should see some goals here. All right. That's what we come for. The girls, the good football. Oh yeah, they don't have their names on their jersey. more in double team Cross. Thank you. 
Pressure from the Ani this. And she's got the strength and skill to get past. We'll be miss. We'll miss the Ani at the World Cup for she's has like I think she has 15 goals in 15 matches last time I checked. Holy motherfucking shit here. What the fuck's going on here? Oh now y'all wanna bull y'all now y'all wanna bullshit? Nah, I'm hold on, let me refresh. It probably just needed some refreshing. There we go. Ah! There we go. No worries. Yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, Martin. How did she miss that? know another thing about matches that are on tv they gotta keep it respectable most of the time because you know they need observers to observe as well you know if it's the men's game i'm not saying they wouldn't care but like nobody wants to see a, a team get thrashed in general unless you're into that um unless you're into that especially in football that's tough right Especially if you're the uh, the team that's conceding. Oh Lord, have mercy! Even tougher. <laughs> the whole world saw you. No, say it'd be different. It was like behind the scenes, like on something else. But no, no, no. You were on live television. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But we have to. We always have to remember nowadays. Shit, everything's live. You just because. The camera is not like, it's because there's not a camera following you around. Doesn't mean that God and goddesses are not listening to your every move. So technically the whole world's a stage. So technically you're always live camera action shot because the things that you do behind the scenes, of course, come to the light. But if you're working, you know, you're just in your whole life, you know, you're always being watched by higher forces, by higher beings, you know what I'm saying? So like just kind of live start to live like that like oh yeah i always got cameras on me but make sure you're always in the upright and you're doing things authentically yourself so you don't have to worry about oh how are people going to view me no as long as you're being yourself who gives a fuck how motherfuckers view you because you're being yourself and that's what's so fabulous about it and then it becomes of course you have to continue to get to know yourself and of course we involve Stuff like that. We may change things that we don't like about ourselves. And we work on that. But. That's just in general. You just get to know yourself. Get to know yourself every day. Alright. Corner here for Brooks. Let's see if they can do something here. You know this was a good corner. And you know they had the powerful striker coming through. With the powerful header. Oh yes, that's what I wanted to see. Club America and uh and uh Puchaka. Oh they play Monday? Okay. Also if y'all watch NWSL, America is playing Angel City. Club America is playing Angel City. This Wednesday as well. Very interesting. Wednesday? Wow. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Hopefully they stream it on YouTube so we can watch it. They should stream it on YouTube. <sighs> Thank 
Oh, it's been that type of day. All right, Frazier is coming in. I, I expected to see her and I believe. See, both of them, both, both of them, like, both of them coming in. I kind of saw them in the uh, talking in the uh, and saw them talking, so I'm, I'm not surprised that they're coming in. Because, uh, you know, I just, you know, we need some of that youthfulness. Especially through Frazier, I think she's deserved a little bit more minutes. I think she's been playing well, and she's such a bright young star. Um, well, so she scored uh, not last match, not last match, but the other match. <laughs> like she scored like three matches ago. Man, it's starting to be like a back line of six or seven back there, kind of like a whole wall. Ooh, Baltimore, is she gonna sneak through? Flag stays down. Bachman. Right to the goalkeeper. And Bachman has a really good shot. Like she, most of the time, she's she, when she shoots, she's on she's on target. Um, she's a very like I said, she you know she's she's Switzerland. And, um, like I said, if she was a part of any other national team, I mean, of course she'd be a huge. I just don't see. I don't know. I don't know what the Swiss are ranked, but fortunately, you know. I don't really see them win the World Cup anytime soon, but uh, yeah, she's one of those players that I th the national teams. I think she's been around the park too. I think she's a uh, oh wow, that was it right there. That was supposed to be the goal. I was supposed to put them ahead. So unlucky. What was she thinking? Like I said, it's been most of their attack has been down this left side of Paris. Maybe they should change it up too. I mean, even though they've gotten, you know, yeah, here's a little one too. Yeah, like woof. I can't believe she wasn't able to get there because the yeah, know she like she didn't go for it. it looked like it looked like she was like ah either she felt like she didn't either she felt like she didn't have um three shots from Bachman all all from her she's got to figure out how to find the back of the net she's she's on target though she's a sharpshooter 
if you want to play 2k. <laughs> yeah, just, did she just miss it? Did she just miss it? Tell me she didn't just, tell me she, tell me she didn't just swing and miss it. Was that what we just saw? Oh my goodness, because it'd be different if like it wasn't, she wasn't going to get there. But did she swing and miss the ball? Oh my gosh. That's devastating. Bruh, no, they need to give me one more replay because if that's what I saw. No, 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 no. That was it. Oh no. It's not like I want to see Paris lose, but I'm sorry. When you have golden opportunities like that, I expect you to punish the good teams. You don't get chances like that too often, you know? And that's what that's sometimes what this with these teams. Diani's showing her strength here. <laughs> Baltimore. Yeah, lots of shots. Finally, finally. I'd rather PSG shoot shots at the goalkeeper than not shoot at all. Because that's what they weren't doing. And of course, they know they saw the subs. They know they're, someone's about to come off. They don't know who's coming off, but they know they're about, some people's about to come off. That's for sure. So they, ooh, Martins. It happens. It happens. It happens. It happens. All right? It happens. We all stumble, mix with. So yeah, so Martins, that was her last play. It's probably what, not what she wanted, but you know, yeah. Um,. But I'm really happy she's finally getting to start because when we first tuned into Paris, she was coming off the bench. You know what I'm saying? I believe she's coming in. Uh, Martins. Uh, and then um, Frazier coming in as well. Let's go. And um, Meow? Is that what I saw? What number is she? 14? Okay. All right. 30 minutes left for both teams. Man. Wow, I can't believe they missed that chance. So with the Young and Frazier in the mix, in the middle, she plays a very important role. Um with Jean as well. I'm um, trying to see if she's going to play. Is Baltimore dropping back more? Now that Ameline's in, she's going to be the, the big striker. With Diani kind of playing more out wide. That kind of looks like it. But here she should be a little better. When Baltimore gets to play on the ball, um, she does have vision. You know, so she's one of those players that have has the ability to, uh, you know, create opportunities for their her team as well. So sometimes they may PSG may drop to a four four two because they have like they can have. Baltimore, Bachman, Frazier, G. And if they want to do the 4 3 3, they'll do it with Emily and Baltimore and Diani. Or even sometimes I feel like they should go ahead and play Ramona out wide too, because she has pace. So, in a way, that kind of suits Paris more. Have Baltimore drop back, have Frazier, have Jean in that midfield. So you have a player that is good on the ball as well as a. As, uh, um, you know, the young Frazier, you get to see what type of visions she has in the midfield for her for the team. Good to, good to say on her, Amelie, here. Uh, I'm, the, the Alma, that's what I meant to say. There we go, there we go. Okay, Baltimore Y from Frazier here. Okay, no one, two, here we go. 
but kind of all televised. Kind of, we kind of saw that, but more subs. Number twelve. Okay. And uh, awesome atmosphere. I feel for um, rocks. Number nine, Melissa Gomez. She's been playing. She played really well. I think she was lively. Um, good energy. That's what you need from the number nine, right? From your striker. You know what's so funny too? It's like, well, it's a mixture of, of boys and girls and, and some children. Shut up. Well, I should say men and women and children, not boys and girls and children. That makes no sense, but all two more. I thought that was some 50 50 challenges. I didn't really think that was too aggressive. <sighs> Let's see. They're both. First of all, it's old girl that comes running out of nowhere. Look, look at her teammate. She's the one that comes running out of nowhere and bumps Jean. She just gets bumped off. That was all her. I was, she's the one that ran into the whole thing, so she needed to calm. They, well, her team must need not. Excuse me. Her team need to check the replay because she's the one that came in like a bowling alley. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like a bull in the china shop. She's the one that initiated the the heavy contact because she's. You saw Jean. She never even saw her coming through. She's looking at the ball. Both her her teammate, and that's what's crazy. She should have just let her teammate have it, but she's the one that came in. Late. She was the third. She was the third player that came in late. So I'm happy the referee didn't really buy into that because clearly we saw that she came in from behind. So yeah, I mean that's just what it was. That's just what we saw. So she they need to they need to calm down. They need to check the replays. Uh, it was it was clean. It was all clean. Is she gonna talk to her? Cause she, oh yeah, yeah, cause she's talking to number 12. Yeah, she's the one that needs to get checked on. She's... Oh, oh, she couldn't get on. Or right, what happened? Why didn't she? Why wasn't she able to get the ball? to give her a handball because it didn't look like she was offside yeah it's 
bit of stalemate. We're good. 70 minutes. If you're Brooks, you don't want to foul right there, you know. It's a good opportunity. Yeah, if you see her pull her jersey, easy call right there. We, yeah, you couldn't really tell, but it didn't look like the referee could tell. Alice, number six, we haven't really got to see her on the ball too much. She must have been playing a lot of defense. Because I'm pretty sure out of everyone on this team, she's the only name I recognize with the French team. So she has to be, I mean, I feel like, how come she's not more influential? To me, that wasn't the best pass. She took it out wide, and she should have cut it. She took. She decided to turn back out wide instead of passing her to her teammates in the middle because she had actually two runners available. But she she went away, so that was that was poor poor decision right there. Because she she if she had looked to her right, she would have seen like two of her teammates practically wide open. Come on, Paris. We need a goal. You're waiting for a long time. I've been waiting. Too, you've been waiting too long. Bachman had had lots of shots. Who else has had had lots of shots? Ooh, good tackle. Good tackle. It's Baltimore was about to dip it, pass it. Yeah, we saw. We've seen a lot of uh, shots from Baltimore and. Blackman, a little bit from Kira, but she's on the bench now. But Diane really hasn't had any bites, you know? So, man, it's been, it's been tough. It's been tough. You know, Brox has played really well. I feel, you know, especially now getting to, like, more of the, you know, the final 20 minutes. Fuck. <laughs> But Paris has to make, they have to open the gate. Okay, Frazier here. She's got some options. Baltimore behind. She's going to take a shot. Yeah. Ooh, she's going to give it to Diani. Oh, you see what Diani was going to do too. Try to nicely place it into Baltimore. I thought, I, honestly, I thought Baltimore was going to take that shot when she was right behind. Uh, I think she should have took the shot, but she passed it to Diani. But those are like, those are, well, you have, oh, she should have shot it. She should have shot it. I do believe Baltimore's a lefty, though. But I think, I'm pretty sure she can shoot with both, but I think she is a lefty. Oh, that hit the post. Let's go. And she's an interesting player, too. She's, um... Uh, I'm not saying she's like Jordan, but they're similar in stature. Um, Jordan hits them on her. Oof. 
Yeah, that was. If the goalkeeper didn't put get a paw to that, I was in the back of the net, and it still hit the post. So luckily, that could have still snuck in. <laughs> But you see Paris, a lot more shots this second half. Thank goodness, because I forgot whose match I watched. Oh, yeah, it was the Tikas match. They only had, like, four shots. It was like, four shots ain't gonna win you no match, that's for sure. Not even a handful, literally. Mm, she was falling the whole time. <laughs> she left... Number four, and it's really hard to, especially if you have a big striker, it's kind of hard to see where the ball is if you're a smaller player and you're trying to, uh, you know, time that. It's very difficult to see. So that's another thing when you have height as a, as a striker, when they have balls over the top. I mean, you can't see, I can't see over her, you know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't how am I, you know, just like when we're not, how am I going to beat her to the air? How, she got like a whole five inches on me, you know, how am I going to beat her to the ball first? You know what I'm saying? So it's very difficult, but you know, credit to the defender. But that's just the reality of it. Alright, Diani. She might cut it in. Oh, but old girl's open, Frazier. <sighs> she leave it to Ramona. One of them needed to shoot. Frazier, I think she was I don't think she had enough pace. She she if she was running, maybe she would have swung at it. And then Backman was kinda already in a in a standing standing pace as well. And then she tried to get it to Baltimore, but it got intercepted, so <sighs> jeez. It's coming though. I feel, of course, I, it's, the goal is coming, right? PSG will will score before half, before the game ends. A lot of good shielding with the ball, Paris, on the flank. It's really nice to see, you know, them stay. Like, you know, those are really nice. I think it, those are like, those are really nice to see. And I know, because it's all, I always like, since I never played football in my life, you know what I'm saying? It's always cool, you know, it's very interesting to see, you know, of course, you, how the players move their body. You know, see, like right here, Diani, that's a penalty. You see how she moved, like, of course, she, oh, uh, well, okay, maybe outside the box, but I, See how she just, in a way, it's like a box out. She turned her, right? She put her, where well, she got the ball. She, you know, those are really, really fluid things to see. It's really, you get to see, I like those plays. It's very fluid. It's very enjoyable. And it's, those are skills. You have to, one, you know the defender's going to come on you. And she turned literally right to her. And in a way, the defender kind of was like, oh, fuck, I really didn't have a chance to actually get suited. And all she could do is grab Diana. Yeah, it's outside the box. Outside, it's outside. But yeah. She's like, ah, I can't, I can't do nothing but grab the on, you know what I'm saying? That's all you can do. Yeah, it looks, it looks outside. It's outside. Yeah, it's outside the box. But it may be just a simple term, but those are some powerful plays, you know what I'm saying? Some powerful moments during the, during the match. Sometimes it's, you know, we love to see the skills from the players, like nutmegs and just getting past players with some skill. We love to see it, but sometimes it's those little plays... Just turning up the body, putting the positioning of the players, the awareness of the players. That's something you enjoy to see. You have to applaud from the players because that's just them reading the game, you know? And sometimes, most times it's unconscious, but... Ooh, goodness. But um, when if you have a player that can do it so effortlessly, we're like, how did she do it? No, that's really en enjoyable. Something that we enjoy when it comes to watching the ladies play, you know? The, you know, that's all the practice they've been put in, all the practice that they've 
you know, the time they have put into their craft. And got some more subs. Yeah. Woo! Palis, Ella. And even though, Palis, I'm, I'm trying to think, she's... I think she did play uh, at the Tour de France. Torino de France. I think she played maybe against Uruguay. Because I know the this year. <laughs> I like saying her name though. It's pretty funny when I say. It. Hopefully, I'm hopefully I'm saying it right, you know. But I'm not French. Uh, well, technically I am right now, but you know what I'm saying. Um, I think she did play versus Uruguay. Um, uh, but yeah, we had some subs. She didn't really have the game that I thought, you know. But a lot of other players, I kind of took notice to than her. So very interesting that she got called up to the national team. Maybe some of the other girls they don't even play. They're not even French. It could be another nationality. Man, she's holding on to her. It's a yellow car, yeah? her teammate crying about <laughs> she literally grabbed all the Lawrence she tried <laughs> oh the nutmeg the skill but Grace was already available. Yeah, she was pulling on the shirt too. I wonder why they call it nutmeg. It's so weird. It has to be like a, a gentleman's term. You know what I'm saying? Because the gentlemen have nuts. You know what I'm saying? So it has to be just that's how it came about. But it's a very interesting name, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's a very interesting, it's a very, I, I bet, I, I, and, and especially because I'm saying it like America, so I guess in a different language, it wouldn't, it wouldn't translate to that, right? So it would probably, that would make sense. It's just a, probably an American thing, or like, well, it's like a British slang, but um, I feel like there should be another term for that, right? Because it's like, really? <laughs> but it's like it's like when you think about it it's like really who 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 call like really like you could what do you call them like um man i don't even know we call like people like when you get your ankles broke your ankle broke you know what i'm saying you got your ankles broke like they twist you know and that's still deadly too you know what i'm saying like some of these things some of the names uh that we give these skills are very interesting you know what i'm saying like who the fuck even thought about that shit but then again i can understand or she, they could have just like, oh, she just megged her. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, that's cool too. You, gotta add, you don't have to add the nut part. <laughs> I probably have to change that. My, I, have to, I have to change my vocabulary on some of the skills. I feel like it's been a little bit more open for both teams. Oh man. Ah, I feel like Baltimore should have made a better decision there. She should have ran with the ball um, to take up that space because there was no there was pretty much no one on her. But as you see there's a, a PSG are being told to stay forward. That's what it looks like it. Their offense is being told to move forward because it's not. And you see that back five right there for Barack. They're they're they've been told to all out defense a little bit. So here's Ramona here, Baltimore. Like I feel like I feel like they're giving the ball away a little bit too early. I 
Because when Ramona turned, she still had a lot more. She still has some more touches to take, in my opinion. Here's Baltimore. Mm. And you see they're... Tr they're, trying, they're going for gold, as you can tell. Oh, did the, the goalkeeper hit her in the face with the ball or something? Maybe. I didn't get to see because my eyes were closed. I'm almost like, I'm guessing that's what happened. Or hopefully she can get Oh, yeah, she got hit in the face. Damn. It happens, right? But you just don't want it to happen to you, right? Because it's like, damn, a ball in the face? That's uncomfortable. <laughs> Dang, Paris gonna leave it late, 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 late. Damn, 85 minutes late, Paris. 85 minutes late, Paris. Really? Y'all making us wait this long for a goal? Jeez. And don't tell me freak. Don't nah, don't tell me that about this. Bruh. Eight minutes? Goodness. Jeez. Oh, even even struggling. Jeez, we've waited a long time. see how Baltimore did her? She waited until she did nothing and then she sniped the ball. <sighs> Six minutes. I mean, four minutes plus some change. Uh, Ackman. Hmm. Oh my goodness, but luckily Grace is back. Oh. Here we go again. Even Baltimore's open, but um, the ball was kind of behind Lawrence. She still gets her. Look at everyone. Oh. So many chants, it's like you can see like they're pretty much just open it's open play right now. That's how I feel. Like they're tr like it just they just need that right pass in it. They just need that right because there's so much space Brock's are giving. There's like four attackers up front, and Paris are easily getting through. They just gotta get that pass right on they have to just get that pass. That right pass. Oh. We need to see a replay of this. Did she get her? Yeah, slight, I think. Slightly, but, you know, Grace kind of, you know, took flight there. <laughs> but... It was like a t it was like a tight like a I got it like oh a little peck on the back a little bit not I don't know man but Bar Barks are probably like well come on now that was that was soft very soft all right all right two minutes two minutes two minutes I'm 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 guessing we'll have extra time but like gosh. Oh, that deflection helped uh, the ball stay in play. Baltimore. 
Oh. At least three minutes of stoppage time with the subs, but that, that's probably pretty much it. Man, why does she? That was such a poor pass. She should have just kept it on the ground. She had she had a uh, Le Wing, Le Ming beat. She should have just kept the ball on the ground and fed her. Okay. Uh, almost a heavy touch. That was a heavy touch from Deani. Was. Trying to clear it, clear it. Mm. Come on. Got the final. All right. Let's see how much stoppage time they got. Four minutes. Okay. Mm. See Balt? Oh, what's that? No. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, four minutes. Damn. Good turn. Giving it to Frazier. But why? This this Blackman, when you turned. Why did she oh I don't get it. I don't get why she turned she she turned and she passed diagonally. I mean not diagonally. She oh, what do you call it? fucking say horizontally? Hold on. I don't even know. Uh, she may take a shot. No. When she goes for a teammate. Good block. Good block. Let's go. Let's go. Lawrence. But there's a lot of... Alright, here we go. I think this is uh, Lawrence here. Alright, alright. She went for... Oh, she did... Uh, she went for the early ball. Why not cut inside and go for a strike like you did last time? You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's tough. It's tough. Two minutes. Bruh. Bruh. Um, uh, bruh. Yo, 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 yo. I know y'all ain't. I know y'all, y'all. Look, we always done. Uh, come on, Paris. Y'all killing us. If they can see late, I'll be salty. Both teams, if they can see late, you'll be salty. Here we go again. More open space. More open space to play. Frazier here. This is Frazier. She's going to take it. Giving it to Diani. Ooh, almost. Ooh. Ooh. Baltimore may swing for it. Nope, nope. Got to give it to Frazier back. Oh. Too quick. Too quick giving it back right back to her. Lawrence trying to tra has to track all the way back. <sighs> wow. I'm guessing we'll have extra we'll have minutes. I don't know if they'll go straight to penalties. I'm pretty sure we'll have two fifteen. Final minute. Final minute. Final minute. Oh, ah, back moves there. Okay, okay. Final minute. Final minute. Final minute. Final minute. Both teams. Final minute. Ah. Oh. Final thirty seconds. Yo, I think. Oh my gosh, I can't believe they've been held scoreless for 90. This is ridiculous.
That's it. Oh my goodness. Ooh, ooh, she took a hard tumble. She's all right. Mm. Hmm. Like, are they going to like extra time or this says final score? But like, is that it? Like, are they done? Like, make it make sense. They got a second leg or what? What's going down? <laughs> huh? Ast Astrid SP, thank you for following. Appreciate you. Yeah, shout out to everyone you know that did tune in and stick around for the second half. Like I said, you know my commentaries are way different. You know, man. And here's the thing, especially because this is a French football match. You most of the time you don't expect an American, but I'm not American. I'm cosmic. You know what I'm saying? To do commentaries on these matches, right? So that's why I tell y'all I'm an esoteric commentator. I do commentaries all over the world. You know what I'm saying? So it looks like the match is not done, right? So we're 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 gonna see what's going to go down here. It looks like we should have two 15 minute halves. I mean, that's what's that's usually what happens. It's so weird how sometimes like in some that in some other tournaments they just have straight penalties. Um, I can understand like. You know, it's um, it's because of the ladies, like, um, what do you say? It's like a lot of football, a lot of soccer. But um, I'm pretty sure it's two more 15-minute halves. Hopefully Paris can finally, you know, get through. But we'll see what what's about to happen. I don't know. They're giving the goalkeeper high fives. Like, it's a lot of pressure. I don't know. I don't know, man. What's about to happen right now? Like, they, I, they, they sizing up the goalkeepers right now. You know what I'm saying? Aye, aye, aye. I don't fucking know what's going down. <laughs> it just, we'll just see how it, ah, fuck, I don't even know. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's another 15. Okay, okay. You gotta do the coin toss, I think. Straight penalties? Are you serious? I'm not. I'm not really. I'm not really. Oh my god! No penalties are so brutal. Because pretty much it's 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 pretty much up to the goalkeepers and up to the players because they're free throws. The, 
the goalkeeper is at a lose situation because the, the player has the opportunity to choose either right or left and the goalkeeper has to try to read minds right and it's it's just like if you're Brox, you're like fuck we can win you know what i'm saying that's uh well this is bullshit honestly this is bullshit i thought they were gonna have two 15 minute halves but it goes straight to penalties oh and this is how teams you know kind of can get into the next round but whole fingers crossed man oh my goodness ah. <laughs> i think i might too oh no 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 bro. all right all right all right first one okay so would you rather go first or second i'd rather go first oh hold on hold on nigga don't 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 do that to us don't do that to us oh my gosh oh my gosh Re this is awful. Hold on, hold on. What the fuck? No. They're really trying to play us right now. They're really trying to play us right now. What the fuck? Did they really cut this shit off? I know they did not just cut this shit off. Bruh. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. I'm so sorry. You see how they did us? Oh, are you shitting me? Are you shitting me right now? Did they really cut the stream? Bro, they really cut the stream right now. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Did they really just cut the stream on us? It's because, of course, the match is playing extra. Oh. Let me see something real quick. Oh my goodness. They really cut the stream on us. Yo. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so done. Bro. Bro, let me see something. What what's what's the next stream? Oh my goodness. Okay, y'all. I, I, I apologize. I guess this is what we get for I guess this is this is free. But let me see something real quick. I'm oh Alright, the penalty shootout. Andrena Lardes, she scored. While I'm trying to find the penalty, forgive me. Oh my um let me see something real quick. Hmm. This is bull. This is not good. I'm trying to figure out what other match would have been next that they would have cut to. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh. I don't even know what match was been next. Let me see their TV schedule real quick. Here it is. What's next on their channel? Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Barack's Peristy, so at no, this is it, but uh, what? Let's see, let me refresh it. Okay, they haven't, yeah, they have, oh, I don't know, I don't know what's going down. I don't know what's going, what's going down. This is so, it sucks, to be honest, it sucks. Um, hmm. Oh, yeah, what's another stream? Uh, but this is, this is it, though. This is, this is, uh, football. How else did I watch this? What I want to see is their TV schedule. That's what I want to see. Whose game is live on this channel? It's not full time. Okay, it says it's Atlanta. You yes. That's what I'm saying, right? Atlanta. Is that it? Is that what's playing? No. So I'm trying to figure out what stream would have been next. That's how you kind of plug in. Ah. Uh huh. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's still saying Atlanta. Levante. Okay, 
Diani scored her penalty. Julie DeFork, she scored her penalty. So it's 2-1 right now, penalties. Oh my gosh, y'all. Mm. Let me see. Leah. Live? Live. We got a TV guide. BN Sports. Okay. BN Sports. BN Sports. I need the, the the French one. Are you really kidding me? There's no other. Uh... Okay. Baltimore scored 2 2. Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I was doing, dude. Uh. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um. Uh, that's not it. Yeah, that, that's it's already on. Let's see. And that's so crazy that that was our only channel. That was the only one. Ah. Oh. Okay, Delphine scored for Brox. It's 3 2. Oh. Oh. Looks like we're not going to be able to finish the, the match. Mm. It says right now. How is it on 90 minutes if it's this channel? Wow. Celia. What's another channel that I had? I don't even know. Oh, Ashley Lawrence scored three, three. Michaela. Scored 4-3. Everyone's making their penalties. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, shit, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, snap. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Ramona's taking it. Oh, my goodness. Yes. She made it, too. Okay. Bet, bet. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. We about to... I'm about to have it. Oh, wait, 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 what the fuck's going down? Did, did they win or something? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, that's bullshit, yo. That's bullshit. Hold on. That's bullshit. Hold on, we need a replay. Ah, they fucking won, though. Paris won. Okay, Paris won. I can't believe it. I can't believe I found the stream right when they won. Look, 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 y'all. Look. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. This is bull. Bullshit. Ah, wow, wow. Okay, here it is, y'all, finally. Oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry that we only got one goal, but it was the game-winning one, so that's all I care about, okay? Ah. So, Paris... Bro, bro. But the website that I used was a different website, so that's all. That means that I'll have more access... Well, of course. Fucking A. Bachman. Well done. Ah, uh, she's, she's... Can, can y'all show us the replay of the last penalty? Of the save? Let's see. Let's see what they'll show us. Ah! Rocks off. Damn, it's kind of, you know, someone has to cry. Someone has, someone has to win. Someone has to cry. You know, sorry. But PSG, holding firm, making all their penalties. Oh, 
Cheer up, cop. Yeah, it hurts. I don't know if you ever, if you ever lost something. That's that's that hurts, dude. And this, oh my goodness, I'm so freaking mad that they like there was ah. Bien, he's happy. Well, all smiles from the ladies, which is good. Uh, I thought I think I was wanting to see if they're gonna give us like some more replays. I think right now they're just giving their reaction, giving the reaction from the ladies. Oh. Dude. So it's Diani first, then Baltimore, then Ashley Lawrence, then um, I forgot who it was. <laughs> oh, we back live. Everyone coming to the supporters, which is very nice. They have, they were an awesome crowd. Even though I don't really hear nothing in the background. I mean, I don't hear anything. You can just tell by the, um, the energy. Ah. Aries! Thank you for following. I love that she's holding his hand. <laughs> See where Brox is in the division. Oh, they're seventh in the division, but they play really hard. Julie Tablet, I think she probably playing with friends too. Her last name looks very familiar. Oh, 
A lot of good, a lot of good, um... Oh, are we seeing the penalty save here? Yes, yes, that's what we want to see. Oh, she just missed it. And then here's Ramona's. Wow. She just missed it. She wasn't even saved. Damn. Those are heartbreakers. You didn't even give the goalkeeper opportunity. You missed it yourself. Those are devastating. Those, those are probably devastating. But shout out to Cheer Up Cup. Um. Oh my god. Well. <laughs> Look at that guy. Hey, that manager was the former Lyon manager. Old, old head, old man, old man. Like he said, of course. <laughs> hey, isn't that old girl, the French, uh, right here, her? Isn't that... She used to play for France, the one on the right. Or, well, my, whatever, the one with the darker hair. Nassib, right? That's, that, that's who that looks like. She's really good, too. I recognize her. I was wondering, like, yeah, I recognize her. I don't know the other chick, though. What he got in his ear? That's a really good save. Well, I'll probably end it here after uh, they're done chatting with the mate. It's glitching. Oh, that, that might be my cue. Oh. <laughs> he's, got, he's almost done. Goodness. Thank you, everyone, that's sticking around. Shout out to y'all, you know what I'm saying? This video will be up on YouTube. Um, this commentary. And thank goodness we found it.
I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Anyways, y'all, thank y'all once again for tuning in to Anitha's Joints. Hashtag is in the joints. Whoever day is payday, baby. It's your girl, Anitha, flying high. Flying out of this third dimensional reality. And I'm going to see you on the next one, okay? Peace.